This is Afghanistan. After long time today I'm going to share a very positive news about Afghanistan. Please watch the video till the end to know more about this big project on Amu River in Afghanistan. Which is going to surprise the whole world very soon. No one has thought of this. I'm surprised and so happy for the people of Afghanistan. Afghanistan, which has been stuck in poverty, hunger, and in wars for the years, can achieve such a things. Afghanistan is building the world's largest artificial canal, which will determine the fate of Afghanistan. 285 kilometers long and 500 feet wide, the name of this artificial canal is Kwashtapa. The Afghan government did not take any supports, equipments, or engineers from anyone to build this canal. And today, when you are watching this video, almost 100 kilometers of this canal has been dug out. But why Afghanistan finally needed to build such a long canal? And why experts are saying that this project will transform Afghanistan economically? Let's come to know more about the answers to all these questions. The truth is that in this video first we want to understand the geography of Afghanistan. Afghanistan is full landlocked country, meaning no ocean is located along any part of it. Pakistan is in the east of Afghanistan, Iran is in the western side, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan are in the northern side. In the northeast, there is a small border of Afghanistan also shares a border with China. So Afghanistan is completely trapped in other countries. 80% of Afghanistan's water comes from the Hindu Kush mountains. Afghanistan has four major rivers, Helamand River, Amu River, Kanar River, and Panjir River. From where Afghanistan receiving their waters, 40% of Afghanistan's water supply comes from the Helmand River, which starts from the Hindu Kush and across the entire Afghanistan, then branches out at the Iran-Afghanistan's borders. This river has become a major cause of political tension between Afghanistan and Iran today. Because Afghanistan has built a dam here in 2020, according to Iran, this dam will have a bad effect on all Helmand's areas. Now we are coming to Afghanistan's second river, which called Kuna River. About 20% of Afghanistan's water supply also comes from the Kunar River, which originates in the Hindu Kush Mountains and traverses the entire Kunar and Nangarhar provinces. Then crosses the Afghan border into Pakistan and flows into the Atak River in Pakistan. The former King Sardar Muhammad Dawud Khan wanted to build a power dam on the Kunar River to solve the country's power shortage. But he was assassinated. After his assassination and the war in the Afghanistan, this project was not completed. I hope the Afghan government will work on this project in the future. Now we are coming to the third river of Afghanistan which is called Amu River and in English the Oxus River. Amu River is the longest river in the Central Asia, it originates from the Pamir Mountains range between northern Pakistan and Central Asia. And then passing through the border of Afghanistan, Tajikistan, it enters to Turkmenistan and then crosses Uzbekistan and falls into the Aral Sea. This is the river on which the Kashtapa Canal is being under construction which we will discuss further in the video. Apart from this, the rest of Afghanistan's water supply comes from Kabul River, Kana River, Hari Rud River and Panch River. Afghanistan is one of the few countries in the world that has 70% of its area covered by mountains. In the southwestern region of Afghanistan, there is a desert along the border of Iran and Pakistan. So basically the entire area below Kandahar is desert. Now if we talk about the people, the ethnic division in Afghanistan is very high, 42% of the total population of Afghanistan are Pashtuns, 27% Tajiks, 9% Hazaras and 9% Uzbeks, and the rest are Nuristanis, Turkmens and Balich other etc. Among them Nuristanis are very peaceful and loving people in Afghanistan. If we look at Afghanistan historically, Afghanistan is perhaps the most important country of Central and South Asia. Because from this Mughal, Tatar, Sori, Ghaznavi, Abudali and Kilji came to the subcontinent. Now if we come back to the water supply system of Afghanistan. All these rivers are insufficient to meet Afghanistan's water needs. And this is because Afghanistan is suffering from a water crisis, which has become more severe after the Afghan American War 2001. In fact, there is a shortage of water in the entire northern region of Afghanistan. And to remove this shortage. The Afghan government has thought of a solution to build an artificial canal from the Amu River, 
which will supply water to the entire northern area for 285 kilometers with the help of this extraction about 550,000 acres of this dry desert will be converted into lush green fields after the water comes. Wheats and other grains will be grown here. Rather, the Afghan government expects that by 2028, Afghanistan will be export 50% of the wheat grown here to other countries. This project started in March 2022, its initial completion date was 2028, but according to experts, the project will be completed by 2025. This project is being done with such great planning that major Western engineers and experts are surprised. This project has been divided into three phases. In the first and second phase, digging will be done in this entire road. So far digging of 100 kilometers has been completed. 200 local contractors have been hired for this digging. And around 7,000 whole trucks, excavators are being used. And this whole process is being managed in a great way. Trucks and excavators are in the line. The excavators pick up the soil and put it in the trucks. When the supervising engineer pass it OK, the trucks take the soil and put it on the corners of the canal. Thus, there is no need to make concrete boundary of this canal. And it becomes a natural boundary, a boundary that does not have any additional cost. The main advantage of not bridging the canal with concrete slabs is this. That both the sides will also have irrigation. And the ready Afghan government has started planting vegetables and plants on the borders of this canal. After this digging is completed, water will be supplied to all the fields through a water pump at a distance of about 5 kilometers. And the amazing thing that has been done is that solar panels have been installed on top of these tube wells. So that electricity is not required to run these tube wells and motors. A lot of media publicity was also done for this project. As a Western expert said, Afghan engineers are not competent enough to execute this project. In this way, there have been reports that the contractors are not being paid on time. But the reality is very different. All locals are very happy with this project. First of all, jobs have been created for thousands of people. And second, when we did a little deep research on it, it also came to light that if the contractors did not get time money, then this project would not progress at such a speed. Besides, the people of Balkh, Jajjan, and Faria provinces are also very happy. Because now water will come into their province after which they will be able to farm. Will be able to grow food and earn money. There is only one problem on this project so far, and that is the claim of Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan on this river. Both these countries have raised many questions on this project. How this canal will reduce the water supply of these two countries by 50%. The issue is being discussed between the Afghan government and these two countries. The Taliban is convincing the two countries that according to the Almada Agreement of 1992, Afghanistan has a right to the Amu River. If Turkmenistan can build the Karakum Canal on this river, why not Afghanistan? The Karakoram Canal is the world's largest canal and was built by Turkmenistan in 1988 to divert water from the Amu River for irrigation in the Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan. Due to this canal, Turkmenistan has transformed this entire desert into green fields. And Afghanistan also wants to do something similar. Now another interesting thing here is that Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan are very important to Afghanistan. About 80% of Afghanistan's electricity supply comes from these two countries. In this way, a large chunk of Afghanistan's exports goes to Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, and Austria through these two countries. So these two countries will negotiate on some other things from Afghanistan instead of this canal. Politically, however this issue is resolving. But economically, this project is going to bring huge benefits to Afghanistan. Afghanistan will not get aids from any other countries. Afghanistan may end their hunger in a few years. And Afghanistan will become a self-sufficient country in growing grains in few years. Now, what can be more important for this country which is burning in the fire of war for the last 44 years? We also want Afghanistan to finally focus on its economic development. What the Afghan people have endured for the last 44 years, now they are finally deserved to get some relief. Here is all the information we consulted for this video. We request you to subscribe to our channel Afghan Film 2023 so that you get notifications of every new video from our channel. Thanks watching.